Hey YouTubers, you've reached the Debunkify channel. Um, what we have here is a solid state uh, over Unity device. I uh, have it turned on already and all it is is this DC to DC converter uh, circuit. Um, and All it has is an input and an output and I have two meters on the input reading input voltage and input current and output currents and output voltage um, now there's a few things I would like to say here I, I've traded out these with other brand new circuits old circuits and it, it does the same thing I've swapped out all the meters with each other and it does the same thing I've tested and made sure my meters are working properly using just one resistor to test current uh, from the voltage source and they were all the same using Ohm's law that it all came out exactly the same so the meters are working just fine now the power supply is a mains wall adapter I got connected into the wall over there so you can see that and I'll try to get like a zoomed out shot here so you can see all the connections all at once and there's nothing hidden uh, take a look under here yeah well, there's nothing hidden or anything like that there's no point in doing that just just the power wire going into the wall and that's it nothing around it uh, so let's, I'm going to explain the connections a little bit better and, and the meters are connected right okay because here's the negative which I got marked with this black piece of tape here of the power source and this is the positive and across it I'm just reading the uh, uh, the voltage of this meter right here in the negative right here and then on the negative side I have the negative side of the meter showing the current coming out and the positive going back into the negative side of the meter uh, circuit and of course the positive is uh, going back to the positive um, so it's looped right now and the same thing on the output up the measure unit on the positive side uh, the positive I'm just reading the voltage here on the that meter right across it and then on the positive side I got the positive side of the meter reading current and what's coming out of the meter got going back looped back into the positive side of our source so the positive side's basically looped through the meter in between. Uh, now the negative, I don't have the negative connected back to the negative because the negative is already connected internally inside of the circuit and inside of this converter. So there's no need to connect. If I put a wire on the negative, on both the output negative and the input negative, it will make no difference because it's already connected inside. So there's no need to do that. Um, so there's 37 milliamps going in at 12.28 volts, and 688 milliamps coming out at 12.31 volts. And again, here's this is just the entire circuit and all its connections. All it is is a DC, the DC converter circuit, with the input and output. So let's uh. Let's calculate that efficiency really quick. So we got a 12.28, 12.28 times 37 milliamps. Uh, this is really hard to do holding a microphone at the same time, so let's do this real fast. 12.28 times 0.37. 
So this this is the wattage going in. It's less than half a watt. So let's uh, save that. Copy right there. Put that on the side for a minute. Then we got 692 milliamps. So point. 692 times 12.31 we got eight and a half watts coming out divide that by our input wattage that we saved and we got almost 19 18 times the amount of energy coming out of what's going in and if we multiply that by a hundred percent so 1,874, 75 percent efficient. Rounded up. So uh, I normally wouldn't show something like this, but uh, in the world we live in, I thought it would be pertinent to uh, show this, because um, I think we have a oil lubed up our you know what too much and we need to get off of that we're we're so into ourselves this world we're just so into ourselves that we can't even see that we're destroying the only environment that was given to us and uh, we need to change that way of thinking and quit concentrating on on income taxes and the IRS and being bugged at the Trump Tower and blah 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 it just keeps going on and on and on when really all we need to do is this and enjoy life a little bit more so if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, please share this video and if you have any comments on what we're looking at here please leave those as well and uh, Thanks for watching. Okay, I also tried a, an analog meter on the input here, and it shows pretty much the same thing as what a digital meter would do. This, I believe, is about 15. This is on the 250 milliamp range, so I, I have tuned down the converter. As you can see there, it's about 15 milliamps. I think I think it's about five ten a little over uh, five, 10, about 15 milliamps or so while this is still 163 milliamps so I, I did tune this down so I wouldn't blow the analog meter okay so I have now swapped out the output digital meter reading current with an analog meter and as you can see it's it's still pretty high so it's reading as well a high output current I had to tune this down so I wouldn't like blow my analog meter here I'm reading about 200 milliamps of current coming out there's the 250 milliamp range uh, so I can't go over that that's why I tuned it down so I won't blow the analog meter and it's reading pretty much what the digital meter would read and it's still higher on the output than the input yeah, so this is the input current the input voltage the output current and the output voltage